example, let's say you start out your diet and you've been accustomed to eating 3000 calories. And so you cut that down all of a sudden you're doing 2,500 calories and that works for a little while. You lose some weight um, and then you stop. Why do you stop? Because your body adapted to it. You got, you got used to 2,500 calories uh, of intake. So your metabolic rate drop, 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 drop until the point where 2,500 calories was no longer a deficit. So you have to take away more calories or increase your output. So maybe you're doing more cardio and that just continues. And, what, and if people don't do things in that process, then they're going to experience a very severe metabolic adaptation. But there are things that you can do um, during the process to help protect your metabolism that most simply don't do because they view it as something that's going to slow down your, your progress. So they could introduce like periods of time where they increase their calories. And they're, and they're actually, and this is something that a lot of bodybuilders and other you know, intellectuals have done throughout the, the, uh, the past 20, 30 years, maybe even before that, um, but it was finally validated in a study done, um, I can't remember how long ago, it was probably just five, six years ago, uh, called the Matador study, where they actually did a diet break. And so they, what they did is, and they compared this to a group where they just dieted straight for 16 weeks versus a group that dieted for two weeks and then went to maintenance level calories for two weeks and then dieted for two weeks and maintenance levels for, for two weeks. And they did that over a period of 32 weeks. And not only did those, did those people that took a diet break lose more weight, but in the end, their hormones and their metabolism were healthy. 